going running shoe fans i am connor from running warehouse and i'm john from running warehouse and welcome to our first ever running shoe draft in front of us we've got 10 of the top prospects in the running shoe game fighting for their chance to make our running shoe lineup team this is a high stakes draft pride is on the line and we're going to test our running shoe knowledge to see just which team comes out on top yeah connor i'm liking this draft pool here we've got some that come from a long legacy and we have other newcomers to the scene i'm excited to see which one of these shoes is going to be first off the draft board well to decide who is going to be the first pick we got to do the running shoe toss give me an upper and outsole give me an upper connor that's an outsole i will be taking the first draft pick and this is going to be tough because we got a lot of good shoes in front of us but I'm gonna make the easy option, go with the fastest shoe in the field. We've got the Saucony Endorphin Elite. Now, like Michael Vick's 2002 NFL season, this shoe is gonna be running laps around all the other shoes out here on the table. You know, it's got full length Power Run HG foam, carbon fiber plate, 7.2 ounces. If this shoe is good enough for Jared Ward, it's good enough for my team. It's gonna be the number one pick of the day. All right, Connor, that's a good choice. Obviously, you've got the only true super shoe in the field, so that uh, gives you some kind of an advantage. But the way I see it, why take a player that can do one thing well when you can take a shoe that does everything well? So I'm gonna go with what was my top choice on my draft board, and that is the Asics Super Blast, my favorite shoe right now. Look, I'm wearing a matching outfit. It's like it was destined to be on my team. This is the shoe that can just do it all and do it all really well. Daily training, fast day shoes, long runs, and it could be a race day option. So this is gonna sit nicely as my team captain. A very good, solid number one pick for you. But now, my second pick of the day, this is gonna be a financial decision right here. I'm gonna go with the most costly player on the field. Like Joe Burrow, some people might say, is this shoe worth the money? But for $300, the Adidas Prime X2 Shrunk is gonna take the pick. 50 millimeters of Light Strike Pro. We've got the unique carbon plate setup, the Shrunk Upper. This has all the bells and whistles, a great efficient daily trainer something you could use up to marathon day. I think it's pretty versatile and it's a fun shoe. This is gonna be a really, really good pick for my team and a solid number two shoe. Hey, I don't hand on that pick, Connor. It was smart. It seems like you are putting lots of value on speed and how much a shoe or player costs, where I think my team is gonna be built around skill. My team is gonna be built around what the shoe can do. So next in my lineup for a versatile player on my team, I'm gonna go with the Hoka Mach X. Very similar to the Asics Super Blast where it's a shoe that can do it all. You've got that sweet Piba foam. You've got that nice plate to give you that pop off when you're looking for some speed. You've got the comfort to give you those daily miles. So this is gonna be a nice versatile player on my team. All right, you've got a very well-rounded team, and it makes me think maybe I need a little bit more versatility on my team. So my number three pick is gonna be the Puma DV8 Nitro 2. Now, like Brett Favre, Puma is retired. Then they've come back, then they retire, then they come back. And now Puma is on a tear this year. They've got fast shoes, responsive shoes. This Nitro Foam is up there with the best. Fantastic value. I think the Puma DV8 Nitro 2 might just be the rookie of the year. You know, Connor, that's, that's a solid choice too, but I don't know if you recall, and I wanna say Brett Favre's last pass was a pick six. So I don't know if that bodes really well for your choices. So I'm gonna go with something that's gonna mix in very nicely with the versatile Hoka Mach X and the Super Blast. And that's when I'm looking for some premium comfort, some luxurious ride with some sweet Zumax foam. Give me the Nike Invincible Flyknit 3. This shoe feels fantastic day in 
day out. It's the dependable captain of your team that anchors the defense. It's going to give you everything you need when your legs are feeling tired. It's going to motivate you to get out and get on those runs. So give me the Invincible 3. John, you got me there because that was going to be my next pick. That is a solid pick. So now I'm a little bit not sure where to go, but I think my number four pick is going to be the Rudy of the running shoe <laughs> field. Some people said a $110 shoe can't compete with the other shoes, but I think the Propel V4 proves them wrong. Versatile, a great foam, the p plate, a good daily trainer, and it's a shoe you can just bring out any day. Uh, this is gonna be a player that can pretty much play any position on my team. The Propel V4 at $110 is a great value. What can I say, Connor? You're absolutely right. I love Rudy, man. Love that guy, love that movie. So good choice, not gonna hate on that. So we're going wild cards now. Okay, I like that. I like, I like where you're going with this draft. So I'm gonna go with a little wild card myself. Something where, you know, you gotta get leg day into, you gotta get into the gym in order to stay fit for your marathon, for your race. So sometimes you need a shoe that's closer to the ground. And if you wanna run to the gym, you wanna run to uh, go on some errands afterwards, you gotta go with something nice, nimble, like the Kinvara 14. Gotta love how lightweight this shoe is, the performance benefits that you get from having that lower, closer to the ground feel when you wanna speed up your workouts. Um, and just a really comfortable shoe every day. Gotta go with the Kinvar 14 as my wild card. Now my fifth and final pick today is going to be someone to round out the defense in my team. I need that premium comfort, that cushioning to go the miles. Now it's younger brother, is the one that gets all the spotlight, all the headlines, but now it's coming in hot. It's been hitting the gym. It's got a little bit more stack. We got the Brooks Ghost Max. This is a great daily trainer to add into my team. We've got the new Brooks Foam. It's really comfortable. It's really smooth. It can go the long miles. This is gonna be a great roundup to my team. And you know, John, I don't, I'm feeling a little bad for you because my team's looking strong right here. Your team is looking strong, Connor, but you really forgot the ultimate champion that really rounds out a team. Someone like a Tom Brady that you need to bring in when your team needs some guidance, your team needs that pedigree of a winner. So what other shoe can I choose than the Hoka Clifton 9? The Clifton is as reliable as it gets. It's a champion within the daily training category and a shoe that is gonna absolutely be that leader of the team. When things are looking tough, you can just hand the ball to the Clifton 9, it's gonna take you home. Well, John, you've got a strong team, but I'm feeling a little bit better about myself. I think you've got a very well-rounded team, but when you look at my team as a whole, you've got the power players like the Saucony Endorphin Elite that are gonna be the speedy day, really gonna be perfect for racing. Then you've got shoes like the Deviate Nitro and the Propel that are gonna do things really well. And then you've got shoes like the Ghost Max and the Prime X that just have lots of cushioning. I feel like I excel in every single team position. And uh, I think I took the W today. Hang on a second, Connor. Let me tell you at least, I give you credit for the Endorphin Elite's fantastic racing shoe. It owns my personal best. Uh, recently, so I have fond feelings for the Endorphin Elite, and you really hit it out of the park with your Rudy pick of the Propel V4, a shoe that has immense value. So, gotta hand it to you there. But if we're talking about winning the draft and the team, when you have a rotation of shoes that can pretty much handle any run that's anchored by one of the best shoes on the market, the Super Blast, that can pretty much be the only shoe that I need but I've got four other shoes that gets the job done as well. So I'm feeling like my team is strongest. So there you have it. John and I have assembled our teams and now we're gonna have to put in the miles to see just how well they perform over the rest of the season. But let us know down below which team you think is stronger and what your number one shoe pick is. And if you're looking to build out your own running shoe rotation, you can find all the shoes in front of us here at Running Warehouse.